people welcome back to my channel to all my subbies and welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Tata I like to do videos on my fashion and style so today's video is gonna be a designer haul so I have four items that I would like to share with you I think it would be I enjoy it so maybe you would enjoy it too so if you follow me on Instagram you would know that I recently graduated so most of these things I got was to celebrate that. I didn't purchase all of these things at once because they're really expensive. Um, I did purchase gradually from late last year to now. Um, these are all designer products but I would say they're a little affordable. All of the items I will show you here today will be under a thousand dollars. When I'm spending large amounts of money I really want to think about things I purchase. I don't want to just be impulsive and buy it because I want these things to last for years, like when I say yes, yes, until I'm like an old widow. Why did I say widow? An old woman. <laughs> also, I wanted them to go with my current closets so I can wear them out more often. But I will stop talking and I'll start showing you all the items. So the first thing I have to show you is this Loewe basket bag. This is this has been out for a couple of years but now i can't ex say exactly when it first came out but whenever it first came out like a lot of girls in the fashion scene were wearing it and i was like yes i need to have it so this bag i think retails for four of four fifty i'm not sure i will have all the price somewhere on the video when i saw this bag i knew i needed to have it because it's it's so so cute i think it's just the perfect summer bag it's summer right now this is the perfect summer and spring bag it will go with a lot of my cottage core dresses small was perfect size for me i think the larger tote remind me of a beach bag and i didn't want to be carrying around it in the city and why i got this is like more casual where like when i'm going about around in the city or going anywhere i could just wear it it's a really really pretty bag it has the Loewe logo at front and that's it it has two leather straps and basically that's it so inside um it's just a hollow it's just a hollow empty basket bag so this is the dust bag it came in and what i did was because it's just empty and whatever you put in there people are gonna see so what i did is i used that as like uh somewhere to keep my stuff secure so what i will do is i like put all my products or all my personal belonging in here and put it in the basket next i have these pair of shoes 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 from gucci so this is a, my most recent purchase when i saw these shoes i knew i needed to have them these are the perfect sandals for summer and it's so comfortable so i recently went to the bridgerton ball and i had a pair of shoes i was gonna wear but i knew i was gonna be standing for at least 90 minutes and i'm like no i'm not gonna wear any heels let me try this and honestly i'm gonna tell you this when i had this on i forgot i was wearing shoes it felt like nothing so the material is like a rubber material so it's really comfortable on your feet i would say i don't have any cons about it so i got the color and the color is a off-white color and i got the off-white color because i can wear it with most of my clothing because most of my clothing is white or neutral so i knew this well any neutral trails is easy to style with a lot of clothes so i wear something that i can style a lot also i just like the simplicity of the shoes it's not too much in your face like you could wear it and people won't notice oh it's gucci or oh it's some kind of fancy shoe it looks like a regular regular sandal and i like it um so my size is a size 7 and in european sizing that's size 37 I suggest if you are in between sizes size up next i have this beautiful very weird bag so something with me and handbags i like unusual bags i think they're just so 
fun to look at. So this is from Simone Rocha and this is her egg bag. I'm not sure why it's called an egg bag because it's really a pearl, like an oversized pearl. This is the extra large size. As you can see, it's as big as my head. And I wanted this size because she, I think it comes in two sizes. The other size is very mini and it's like really, it's really too mini. I'm not a fan of very mini bags, but I thought this size would be great. I didn't know it was going to be this big, but I'm happy it is. There's like pearl details on the strap, which is very beautiful. It's kind of difficult to open, I would say that, because it's nothing to like really put your finger in or grip to open. So you really have to try and pull it, like just pull it opposite side and it will open. So this is how it opens and it has a good amount of space. I just love pearls, like pearls is my favorite type of jewelry. I think it's so beautiful. So when I saw this pro bag, I knew I have to have it. But it's a really good size, like I um, wore this to the Bridgerton Ball and I had like, you could fit like a very small wallet, you could fit a cell phone depending on how small, I think you could fit like a iPhone 13 Pro without a case, it will fit there very nicely because it's, it's kind of tall and it's basically, it's a little like, it's as far as width, it's a little wide so uh, you could basically it's like a regular it could be like a clutch or an everyday bag although it did warn that to be gentle and I'm not gentle so I have to be very very careful with this bag it could be like an everyday day bag to a nice evening bag so in the evening like when I wore it to the ball I did I took off the straps because these are detachable and I just had it like this and it was super easy to carry honestly like when I had it on my sh wrist, I kind of forgot, which is not a good thing because if I forgot I have this on my wrist, I'm gonna like bang into something and because it's so fragile in my, I don't think it's gonna break because it's not like glass, it's like, I'm not sure what kind of, I don't wanna say plastic because it makes it sound cheap, but it's like a acrylic type of, I don't know, I have to look at the, uh, what it's made of, but it can, I can, it can scratch very easily, I can see, say that it can scratch very easily and it can get dented easily if you if it gets hit on anything sharp with any force so the straps are so pretty i completely love this these shoes i knew since 2020 um i think that's around the black lives matter movement and a lot of brands was highlighting black owned brands and then I saw this brand with the shoes and I was like oh my goodness I need the shoes so these shoes cost this is the most expensive shoe I ever bought like and and you could see why like this is 600 I'm not sure exactly like 659 to 99 almost 700 but these shoes are so so beautiful so these are from Brother Valleys and Brother Valleys is a New York operated black owned brand and I think these I'm not sure exactly where they were made but they possibly could be made in Africa so it's very luxury it's very beautiful it's hand it's handcrafted all handcrafted by hand and the reason why I love these shoes is because of the the design the fabric the look you can see there's blue there's lots of florals I love florals and the heel is like the perfect height like this heel is I think it's 3.5 inches is a perfect height for me like I could wear this all night and not feel like I want to cut off my feet like I had my eyes on these for such a long time I also love the difference like you don't really see shoes like this anymore these shoes remind me of like Rococo style Marie Antoinette maybe that's why I love it so much because I'm a huge Marie Antoinette fan but the shoes are so beautiful and I could see myself wearing these like these like to me could be like an everyday it's so easy for me to style so this is why I purchased it yeah, so I got a size 7. They're super comfortable. Um, nothing much I could say. The only thing I could say is like when I got it, 
like the packaging was a little sus but like they were just thrown into the box i didn't take any video of it but i i like to think like package experience or unboxing experience is very important for customers especially when you spend a lot of money on a single item people want to have that entire experience so it, I, I would just that's the only con with this um, i think that's more with the company that it just felt like they just throw it in a box and ship it but the shoes are beautiful well made they're comfortable they're unique and i'm really happy about this purchase so that's all i have to show for you i know it wasn't a lot but i'm not rich let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite or if you will think about getting any of these or if you have any questions that i may not answer in this video just ask because i'd like to reply to all of my comments so let me know what type of videos you guys like to see from me um now that i don't have to worry about school i have a little bit more free time to do more videos so if you have a video request thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye